Hi, welcome to IGCSE and A-Level Chemistry channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about chemical energetics. Chemical energetics. Here first we have to discuss about exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction means chemical reactions which give out heat energy. Chemical reactions which give out heat energy. Such type of chemical reactions are called the exothermic reaction. So during this chemical reaction, energy will be released from system to surrounding and the surrounding will be hot during this chemical process. Surrounding will be hot. Okay. Example for exothermic reaction, burning of fossil fuels, burning of fossil fuel and combustion, combustion. Combustion means substance burning in excess amount of oxygen. So burning of fossil fuels, combustion respiration nuclear reaction nuclear reaction mean uh, nuclear fission nuclear fusion all these are example for exothermic reaction next one endothermic reaction endothermic reaction mean chemical reactions which absorb heat energy during this chemical reaction heat energy will be absorbed from surrounding and the surrounding feel cold from surrounding heat energy will be absorbed and the surrounding will be feel cold that is endothermic reaction example for endothermic reaction photosynthesis photosynthesis green plants stay green plants make their own food in presence of sunlight green plants absorb light energy green plants absorbing light energy so it is it absorbing light energy and it is ex endothermic reaction another example for endothermic reaction thermal decomposition thermal decomposition example for thermal decomposition calcium carbonate on strong heating it form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so we have to apply strong heat to break calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide this is another example for endothermic reaction thermal decomposition it is example for endothermic reaction another example thermal dissociation thermal dissociation thermal dissociation example nh4cl ammonium chloride it it uh, it will change to nh3 and hcl nh4cl on heating it changes to nh3 and hcl okay it is reversible thermal dissociation it is it is reversible process okay so example for endothermic reaction photosynthesis thermal decomposition thermal dissociation and another one dissolving of substance dissolving of substance uh, for example ionic substance dissolving in water this is another example for endothermic reaction okay okay next one we have to discuss here energy level diagram we already discussed exothermic reaction and the endothermic reaction exothermic reaction energy level diagram see the energy level diagram for exothermic reaction in energy level diagram uh, x axis time duration and y axis energy in exothermic reaction energy of reactant will be higher and the energy of product will be lower and in endothermic reaction in endothermic reaction energy of energy of reactant lower and the energy of product is higher okay next one bond energy bond energy bond energy mean amount of energy consumed amount of energy consumed or liberated during bond formation or bond breaking during a bond formation or bond breaking amount of energy consumed this amount of energy called bond energy bond energy bond energy also we can represent delta h change in heat energy or we can say bond energy delta h delta h will be delta h equal to bond broken plus bond broken plus uh, bond formed 
amount of energy needed to break a bond plus amount of energy released during bond formation this amount of energy called delta h remember always bond breaking bond bond breaking during bond breaking reactant will absorb energy during bond formation bond formation amount of energy will be released some of this energy called delta h or bond energy amount of energy uh, amount of energy absorbed during bond breaking plus amount of energy released during bond formation this total energy it is delta h this is bond energy okay here delta h minus bond energy delta h minus mean such type of chemical reaction will be exothermic reaction delta h bond energy positive mean such type of chemical reaction will be endothermic reaction delta h minus exothermic reaction delta h positive endothermic reaction delta h minus mean during such type of chemical reaction during bond formation amount of energy released much more because bond between product molecules are very strong and it release much more energy and such type of chemical reaction will be exothermic delta h positive mean chemical reaction in which reactant bond between reactant molecules are very strong to break this bond it will absorb much more energy and delta h will be positive okay after this next one we have to discuss about production of energy production of energy related to fuels fuels are the substance which conveniently used as a source of energy substance after burning it produce energy okay we can we can usually we can use this as a convenient source of energy okay here burning of fuels burning of fuels it is exothermic reaction we know burning of fuels it produce large amount of energy large amount of heat energy so it is it is exothermic reaction during burning of fuels it produce lot of heat energy this heat energy used to convert water to steam this steam steam used to rotate turbines and it helps to generate electricity after after burning fuels it produce lot of energy this energy used to produce steam steam helps to uh, helps to rotate turbines and this turbines after rotating turbines it uh, it generate electricity next one next one we have to discuss hydrogen as a fuel hydrogen after burns hydrogen after burn it produce large amount of energy hydrogen burn explosively and producing large amount of energy liquid hydrogen used as rocket fuel liquid hydrogen with oxygen mixture used as rocket fuel it can produce large amount of energy even small quantities of hydrogen producing large amount of energy we can produce hydrogen gas by reacting with steam and methane methane means ch4 ch4 and steam reacted together it produce hydrogen gas hydrogen as a fuel there are many advantage and disadvantage advantage hydrogen as a fuel here advantage hydrogen as a fuel it produce large amount of energy hydrogen producing even even small quantities small quantity of hydrogen produce large amount of energy and another one hydrogen available availability of hydrogen Ava hydrogen available in large quantity in earth's in earth surface or we can say in sea water we know water h2o from water we can generate hydrogen so hydrogen available in large quantity 
also hydrogen produce large amount of energy and hydrogen after combustion it produce only water vapor there is no chance for pollution like sulfur dioxide oxides of nitrogen lead compounds carbon monoxide there is no chance this type of pollutants hydrogen producing only water vapor after combustion these are the advantage hydrogen as a fuel disadvantage there are many disadvantage hydrogen as fuel first one it is difficult to carry because hydrogen it is gaseous state it react with the air it, there is possibility for explosion so it is difficult to carry hydrogen as a gas and uh, to store storage of hydrogen in liquid state it need special design container there must be a specially designed container to carry oxygen uh, to carry hydrogen liquid we know hydrogen it is gaseous state at very high pressure and low temperature we can convert hydrogen in liquid state but it need specially designed container to carry hydrogen liquid these are the difficulties or disadvantage hydrogen as a fuel next one radioactive isotopes such as uranium 235 used as used as a source of energy when a neutron hit with uranium 235 it will split into two another atom also it will release large amount of energy this energy helps to generate electricity uranium 235 it used as a source of energy in nuclear reactor nuclear reactor is a device it helps to generate electricity with help of nuclear fuels such as uranium 235 nuclear reactor nuclear reactor in nuclear reactor there will be nuclear fission there is a controlled nuclear chain reaction and it helps to generate electricity when we use radioactive isotopes such as uranium 235 there is no combustion we learned before fuels uh, fuel after combustion it produce heat energy okay uh, there will be combustion but here radioactive isotope there is no combustion here neutron hit with radioactive isotope and it will split into to another atom nuclear fission and producing energy so radioactive isotope there is no oxidation or there is no combustion here radioactive isotope do not combine with it do not reacting with the oxygen but the previous one hydrogen as a fuel hydrogen will react with the oxygen hydrogen will hydrogen will react with the oxygen and there will be oxidation and producing energy so radioactive isotope even small quantity so small quantity of radioactive isotope helps to generate large amount of energy even small quantity of radioactive isotope helps to generate large amount of energy and there is no pollution such as there is no air pollutants formed by this process air pollutants mean like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide oxides of nitrogen there is no chance to form this type of air pollutants okay next one we have to discuss here a uh, symbol cell symbol cell symbol cell mean it is a device which convert chemical energy to electrical energy symbol cell cell mean it is easily portable source of energy what do you mean by a cell a cell mean symbol cell or defined cell cell mean easily portable source of energy which convert chemical energy to electrical energy okay symbol cell which consists of two metals with a different different reactivity symbol cell which consists of two metals one with a higher reactivity one with a lower reactivity metal highly reactive metal it act as anode and it lose electron 
and less reactive metal it uh, it act as cathode and receive electron and these two metals electrode or these two metal with a different reactivity inserted in electrolyte and uh, it connected with the voltmeter so simple cell it consists of two metal with a different reactivity one with a higher reactivity and another one with a less reactivity more reactive metal lose electron and it is anode less reactive metal it will receive electron and it is cathode and these two electrodes are inserted into electrolyte in electrolyte electricity passing with the ions metal electrode cathode and anode are electrode metal electrode electricity passing through electrode with help of electrons but in electrolyte electrolyte electricity passing with the ions see the figure two electrodes are immersed in liquid liquid electrolyte so in electrolyte electricity passing with help of ions ions mean charged atoms example for electrolyte aqueous sodium hydroxide aqueous sodium chloride or aqueous potassium hydroxide these are example for these are example for uh, electrolyte okay for combustion it need three components there must be fuels oxygen and heat then only there will be combustion and the energy will be released there must be fuel oxygen and heat and qualities of a good fuel there must be a good qualities for a fuel it must be cheap and it must be available in large quantity and it must be liquid state at room temperature and produce large amount of heat energy and it do not make any type of pollution so three components for combustion it must it produce uh, three components of combustion there must be fuel and oxygen heat there must be fuel oxygen and heat and the qualities of good fuel it must be cheap and it available in large quantity it do not make any type of pollution and produce large amount of energy after combustion okay thank you for watching this channel please subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos thank you